Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video on the potential use for psilocybin mushrooms treating depression. I'm sure a lot of you think that this is absolutely insane, that this psychedelic drug can cure a mental illness. But, there actually has been a lot of groundbreaking research lately. Um, especially psilocybin mushrooms treating mental illnesses such as clinical depression, anxiety, and PTSD. Because on a neurochemistry level, um, when you have depression, the activity in your prefrontal cortex is really high. And what psilocybin mushrooms does, it decreases that activity. And the most incredible thing about this treatment is that psilocybin mushrooms has incredibly long-term results and you only have to take it a minimum amount of times meaning that you might only have to do one session and six months one year later you're still gonna have all these positive effects that shit doesn't exist in medicine so it's pretty incredible but talking about psychedelics these days isn't as taboo as it once was for example I'm studying psychology right now and I've actually approached a couple of my lecturers you know, the first one was a bit of an older gentleman. He was like, oh, there's no good studies out there. Like, there is, but you know, I don't know when's the last time he actually looked at a research on psychedelics. But. but the second lecturer that I approached was a lot more open about it. He hasn't personally researched it himself, but he did know about the potential use for MDMA treating war veterans with PTSD. So, hey, it's something, right? I mean, yes, depression on a mechanical level is a chemical imbalance in the brain, but... In my opinion, if you look at it purely in that perspective, it's very naive. I mean, having that perspective hasn't served us at all. Because think about it, depression is the highest it's ever been, ever. And so have the prescription of antidepressants. So, something isn't working. <laughs> and analysts predict that by 2020, depression and anxiety are going to be the biggest health epidemics in the history of mankind. One of my missions here is to change that. I mean, yes, technically you do have a chemical imbalance, but it's because of something else much deeper than that. To me, it's a very, it's more of a spiritual problem, if anything. Depression, to me, is when you get stuck in this negative cycle of thoughts and you struggle really hard to get out of it. Depression is when you feel disconnected with yourself and the world. It's when you're always dwelling in the past and just can't be present. Psychedelics forces you to be present. It breaks you out of that pattern. It brings down the barriers of your mind so that you can be connected with yourself and the universe. Because all depression, in my opinion, is completely self-created. It's from the quality of thoughts that you have on a daily basis. And that accumulates. Psychedelics helps you look at life through a higher perspective instead of this dualistic perspective which we usually look at things either we look at things either right or wrong good or bad black or white psychedelics makes you look at things as all one and connected you know good and bad is just two sides of the same coin because you can't have one without the other you get me so it helps you look at life through a much more positive light and it helps you get out of your head because I remember with my experience anyway with depression I was very absorbed into myself and I didn't give a shit about anybody around me and I was constantly having these negative thoughts psilocybin helps you break out of that pattern even Dr. Calvin Harris uh, considers depression to be a very narcissistic illness which is true because you're completely absorbed in yourself it's not to demean people with depression at all Professor David Nutt did this meta-analysis using this very sophisticated system on testing the harmfulness of every single drug or the popular ones anyway and what he found was that mushrooms along with other psychedelics was the least harmful to self and to others who would have figured huh? guess what was number one? that's right, alcohol I do want to end with a note that I'm not saying that psychedelics is the only treatment for mental illnesses like depression it's only one tool of many great tools. Everybody has their own path, everybody has their own ways of dealing and treating their depression. One person might only have to change their diet and you can cure your depression. Because you never know. For example, 90% of your serotonin receptors are actually manufactured through your gut. So one person might only have to eat healthy and you're gonna literally be cured of depression. That obviously doesn't apply to everybody, but hey, 
could be exercising, it could be meditation, could, who knows? It could just be getting out of your house and traveling, seeing the world. Everyone has their own unique path they need to take. Psychedelics is just that incredible tool that kind of kicks you up the ass and forces you to go on that path. And again, I'm not, and I don't think that psychedelics should be completely legal and be available for everybody because there are a lot of psychos out there. And the thing with psychedelics is that it can go either way because you're susceptible to both worlds, both the negative and the positive. So if you're in a really fucked up mindset and you do it in this horrible environment with bad people, then it's going to do more harm than good, really. So again, I'm not saying if you have depression, go out, rush out and do a high dose of mushrooms. No, just do it properly, prepare for it, and have a guide with you. Play it safe. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm going to start doing a lot more videos on psychedelics in a lot more depth. So keep an eye out for that. Because I'm very passionate about this stuff, and I do believe that psychedelics is the holy grail of psychology and psychiatry and the potential use for them is just limitless so it's going to be very exciting to see what comes up in the future so yeah please share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time